Coach Lee, so let's quickly look back at, at last week. A couple of bright spots. Uh, young pitchers uh, stood out well. Chandler Greenfield uh, pitched well in relief. And then uh, Damon Jones with a good start. And obviously Scotty Sunnich. So talk about uh, kind of the, the, some pitching from last weekend against USC. Well, all in all, I felt like our, our pitching has uh, it's made a jump the last couple of weeks, uh, especially on the weekends. You know, we didn't. Uh, we had an unfortunate with the end with the with the rain delay on Friday, and thought we might be able to get a couple more innings out of him. He was rolling along pretty good, but um, you know, we did not want to bring him back out being, you know, that long to fire you know uh, an arm up like that. And so we actually, you know, Walker came in and did a really good job. Very excited about him, and unfortunately, we couldn't get some rally some hits together to to pull away like we uh, would have liked to. Uh, we had a real kind of tough inning in that ninth inning with a couple ground balls and a little blue ball, and you know that part of it is uh, sometimes happens. But um, you know you go into Saturday, and you know Ryan probably didn't come out and do what we thought he could do and what he thought he could do. But um, we got out of the inning with one with one run, so we would have signed up for that one with what had happened, uh, you know, in that inning. And Chandler Greenfield is. Done a good job of coming in and throwing strikes. It's uh, you know not 93, 94 like some of them, but uh, it's you know he's throwing three and four pitches for strikes and and pitching a contact and and giving us really good innings. So um, was excited where he was at. And then Damon Jones came out on Sunday, you know, and probably pitched the best that he's pitched all year. Had a really good outing against Gonzaga for three innings, you know, on Tuesday, but he really attacked hitters. To prove that he can throw, you know, more than two pitches for strikes, and uh, got a really good start out of him. And Scotty Sunich, um, again, came in, did very, very good. We're getting his pitch count up a little bit more, so he's he's in good shape to be able to do anything. And we're going to need those left-handers uh, uh, this weekend against Oregon. What's that like having two relievers and, and Scotty and Ryan that can go that many innings? Well, it's uh, it's 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 comforting. I mean, you've got two key, two guys you feel like you can count on, and now you add Damon to it, who's had a couple pretty good outings, and you add Chandler Greenfield, who's now had you know some good outings. Uh, you know, we like to get you know as many good starts as we can. We got two quality starts this weekend, and and really, you could almost go three, even though we got out of the, you know, we got out of the inning with one run, and Chandler kept us in the game for a long time. We we could have done a lot better job at the plate in securing some things. Uh, you know, I think we let their guy go 133 pitches, you know, and we really didn't give him much damage. So I think we're a better offensive team than that. And, but, you know, on Saturday we didn't show it. It seems like usually, you know, you have these starters who go six, seven innings and then the bullpen usually, you know, one inning or maybe even just a few batters. How does it happen where you have guys who are going four or five innings out of the bullpen? How does that happen? Well, it all depends on that start, you know, and it depends on, you know, the, our go-to guys right now are Sonny and Walker. Um, Neely's been, uh, you know, hit and miss. There'll be times when he lights out and times where he's not ready to go. And um, he's a little tender on Sunday, so we did not choose to fire him up. Um, Dupree's been, you know, I think his spot is in the bullpen. Um, and uh, probably tried to press our luck a little bit by trying to start him, but that's that's what we had and trying to figure out what what we needed to get you know better quality starts from people and so that group when it's you know between Scotty Sonich and and Ryan Walker those two are going to pitch when it's winning time and we don't um, you know Spence does not like to go you know starters much over you know the pitch count you know he likes to keep right around that 100 and I wish we could have got into 100 but we didn't and he was at a fairly low pitch count for uh, for where he was in the game, but you know, we just want to get people hurt. You know, and we want to. We've also got kids that need uh, need reps. It doesn't matter how young they are or old they are, but we need to prepare them um, to be able to pitch and help us uh, this season and next season. How much flexibility does a guy like Ian get with his pitch count? A based on how he's pitching that day, and B based on he didn't pitch that many pitches last game. Uh, well, Ian's built up pretty good. He he could go. Uh, I feel confident Ian at 120 right now. You know he's trained and 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 ready to go. Um, sometimes the the point in the game dictates it too. You know where you need a different look, 
or you need a, a left-handed arm because you got three in a row with bases loaded. So those things dictate a little bit uh, as well. But you know, Ian's trained and his arm's healthy and he's ready to go more than 100 if we can do that. And then just looking ahead to the Oregon series, what do you think about that matchup? Uh, Oregon's good. Um, they have three of the best pitchers in the league and they're all left-handed. So it's uh, they've been a little bit hit and miss on the mound, but they, they are good. Um, they're well coached. Uh, I know that, you know, their coaches personally, I know the time that they put into it. And, uh, you know, I've gotten much better at the plate. They're starting to score runs on whoever they face. And so uh, we've got to be prepared for it all. And it, it, it starts on us throwing strikes and doing those things. I, I feel like that we, when we do that, we're in most, uh, most every game. You know, we can typically scratch out other than Saturday. We can put something together to, to score a few runs if we can keep it close. Any questions on the line for Coach Lees? Yeah, Coach, it's Lou Wright, the Coon fan. How are you doing? Good, Lou. I just get, you get back to Walker and Sonich and just kind of looking down the road and into the future. Do, do, do you see, I know we got a lot of baseball to play at too, but do you see those guys as being uh, the starters for you next year? Uh, well, they could be starters for us this year. Um, it's uh, we're trying to really. I mean, and I, and I mean this at all. We're trying to take one game at a time. I mean, if we we're to get to, uh, you know, possibly a Sunday game, or you know, where neither one of them are thrown, one of them would start. You know, and so uh, we try to just make sure that when when it's when we have a chance to win, that that. Uh, that we put one of those two in there to secure what we need. But yes, you know, we've talked about both Walker and Sonich, and Sonich has kind of been a surprise to us. Um, you know, he's been out of the pen for, you know, a, a couple of years now. And, and uh, you know, I think that there was a turning point in the year where he went three innings where he saw a pitch count being built up. And then all of a sudden, because he's touching the ball more and getting more reps that are live on the mound, you started seeing his pitches develop a little bit more between you know being able to spot a fastball on both sides, a breaking ball, and now he's throwing a changeup when he wants. He's doing a better job of controlling the, the running game. Uh, so very happy with his progress. Uh, Walker has been solid all year. And uh, so we, you know, looking into the future, you could safely say that we know we have at least two starters in our program as we move forward. But um, it'll be remain to be seen. Obviously, as you know, we're preparing for every game this year. Uh, but we, we also look to the future as far as how we train guys right now and where we see them. Yeah, and the other thing is, uh, getting, getting back uh, to, to your offense, can you give me some kind of an idea as to what, what button flipped for Matheny to where he's had a hot bat over the last few weeks? Well, Shane has uh, done an incredible job of staying the course. Um, he could have uh, easily, you know, jumped ship and, and put the blame on somebody or, you know, not got the extra reps and things like that. But uh, um, he has been able to move on pitches a little bit earlier now than he was taking, been a little more disciplined in the strike zone. And then, you know, when the pitch arrives, he's been able to make, you know, solid contact. And uh, uh, Shane works really hard. He, he does. He's his attention to detail and um, – you know where he wants to be given to this team is uh, it, it really is second to none. He's he's done a good job, and um, I think right now he's at a point where you know what it's. I'm trained, I'm ready to go, and what have I got to lose? So he's uh, I re I'm really impressed with what he's doing defensively as well. I thought he was a little shaky early in the year, and um, you know by him being able to go out and play every day and get those abs sometimes. You know, we have a, uh, a group of kids. We only have four infielders right now um, because Justin Hare's out. And when you get to go out and, and perform every day, knowing that you're in the lineup, you can work through those slumps. And I think that's one of the things that's really helped Shane is that uh, he's had to work through it. And, uh, you know, he's in a good spot right now. I hope we can keep it going this weekend. Would you describe him as a real coachable kid? Oh, Shane, absolutely. He's a... Tremendous kid. You can have an honest, truthful conversation with him. Um, he doesn't take it personal. He's he's open. He wants to do well. And 
I mean, you can sense the frustration in the partner year with him. And uh, if he wasn't frustrated, that's where I'd probably question his character a little bit. But um, there was frustration, and uh, he's battled through it. And, you know, kids who do that typically reap the rewards. And I feel like he's, you know, beginning to reap those rewards.